Where the fuck's the chopper? Fuck. I'm gonna check around back. Ah! Oh, the fucking fast! Someone must have fucking talked! All right, Brad's gonna be fine. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm hit! Oh, Jesus! Key, you gotta get out of here! I'm gonna leave you, Mikey! Go! God, I'm not gonna be... I'm fucking gonna bleed out! Go! No! Michael was not always a good husband. <laughs> not always a good citizen. He did not die a hero's death. But he was a man. <laughs> Our Lord was crucified with two thieves. So perhaps we should not judge. We are born of sin. Michael? Dave? To what do I owe this pleasure? Just want to talk. You behaving yourself? Of course. And how are the kids? Great. Amanda, too. Wonderful. She sends her love. So how's the job? Good, thanks, yeah. New supervisor, Steve Haynes. He's on that TV show. Really? Good guy? He's okay. Well, it was nice to catch up. Same to you. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Huh? Really? The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey, hey, hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I say to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. Oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Davey, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently. He has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, 
You've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This barn and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh. I love it. I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff, whoa, pure magic. They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so. Well done with our, uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seen as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies, off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. 
I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in ALS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that KG? Let me tell you something. That guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You. Mm. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, 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 no. Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Uh -huh. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! Whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm no. tired of these fucking no. nitwits at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. Who's you know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor, Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there? 
Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Uh, got it. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Some water. Shumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainee's right, and it's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave, and you fucking know it. Listen to him. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah. Uh... We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah! Uh, what the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've got him. It's done. 
All right, the fuck is this bullshit? We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Oh, we're so straight, you and me. We're arrows. Davey, you can't do anything about this fucking turd? Yeah, Dave. What can you do about me? Here's Trevor. Gee, you right. Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The Bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Hey! Where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie! I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die? Fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on! Come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant! Let's go save America! Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ha <laughs> bullshit! Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this 
You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davy? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. Give us access. I don't know what you think you're doing. He's got the locking system overridden from in there. Pause it. We got company. I'm on it. Face worth. Open up. Come on. Reinforcements should be arriving. Wouldn't be surprised if they had the whole county on lockdown. That's what I need. I got a nerve fucking agent in my pocket and a battalion of soldiers on my ass. This is for the greater good. Allegedly. Let's do this. You work for the wrong branch of the government. Put the agent on ice. Refrigeration units in that container. We missed the window. Agent response team's already in the building. It's never too late. We're going. Let's go. It's too risky, Bandito. That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it. You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay. All right, yeah, you go. I'll stay in cover. Fuck it. Fine by me. And the dead bodies. I'm lucky I'm not one of them. Come on. Let's go. What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties. Only self-inflicted ones. Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent. Nah, well, maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look. Let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. Hey, Frank, it's cracking, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. 
business. Anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davy, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael. You'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. Why? Who? I think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, we like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know, you tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said, and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, 
I'm a patriot! I love my country! Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Until some more of these guys kill each other. What happened to Haynes? He get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. Damn it. We're cut off. You're gonna have to go down the stairs at the other end of the building. Okay. I'm going down. We meet in the courtyard by the fountain. Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team. I'm moving up to the reflecting pool. Get down here, Michael. Jesus! Another Merryweather chopper? How big is their budget? So tell me, Davey, who are these bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. Ain't this a bloodbath? I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. I'm between the fountain and the reflecting pool. Come on! Over here! By the reflecting pool! What happens to Hayes? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. A senseless waste of human life. How did you get in this pickle? What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. On me, and we'll make a plan to get out of here. Wait. This is our shot. I'm making a run for the parking lot. Get clear and we'll talk. I changed the clip. This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. This one's mine. Good luck. Be careful, Davey. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? Yeah, we can pin I most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable. But not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something, or invade some fucking country. No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Oh, lost an ass, nigga. Michael. Davey. Are you behaving yourself? Oh, but of course. And how are the kids? They're good. I actually mean that. 
Amanda, too. How's work? Work? Ah, it's fine. Better than fine. It's good. Had a few lucky breaks. Look after yourself, Mike. You too, Davey. You too. <laughs>